What's up everyone, Brian here with Brian Vall, or Firewall, I'm told, is your other name, as people know you. <laughs> That's what people know me as. <laughs> uh, and you're a gameplay designer at DICE. Yes, this is correct. All right, so we're checking out Naval Strike, the new DLC for Battlefield 4. Indeed. Uh, and then it comes with a new mode and four new maps. Sure. Uh, so let's talk about the four maps a little bit, yep. uh, each on their own. Uh, one of the first ones we played was Wavebreaker. Uh, tell me like the, a defining feature of that map, like what makes it different? The others? submarine base, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. um, it's came up with, like from my perspective, we wanted uh, drive-by shooting in boats, because that sounded like fun. Okay, uh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the artists, they wanted a submarine base, and so we, we mashed them together, and you have Waybreaker, where you can shoot down uh, a submarine that's sort of, um, it's, it's on repair right now, it's being mm -hmm. repaired. Uh, you can blow up the support pillars and it will topple down, crash down. So it's not getting down. repaired? No, 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 it's not getting repaired. It's probably getting, <laughs> it's getting blown up. Uh, well, at the same time, if you control the middle section of the map, which is the submarine base, you can lock the doors, prevent uh, boats from going in and out. So they have to take the long way around then? Yeah, exactly. Okay. But you can then open it up for your own boats if they want to take the shortcut through. Mm. So you sort of become the, the gatekeeper if you would, uh, okay. inside the submarine base on Waybreak. That's good, I like that. Uh, Lost Island, tell me what's unique about that map. Uh, Lost Islands is a combination of the Bermuda Triangle meets Lost um, in the South China Sea. I like that description a lot. <laughs> I do too. Uh, <laughs> middle of the map, you have a crashed airplane, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the evolution event of the map. You can blow it up um, from, from, it starts sort of, it's closed off. You can't enter it. Uh, if you blow the it up, plane, the crash plane. Exactly. Okay. Uh, if you blow it open, uh, then it's sort of the, that area in the middle turns into more of an infantry-focused area. So you can go inside the airplane, sort of duck behind cover in there, mm -hmm. uh, defend yourself against the attack boats that are sort of sharking around the middle there. That seemed like a very contested point when I was playing. <laughs> Definitely. Recently. It's sort of everything. All all roads lead to the airplane in the middle. Uh, that's how the map is laid out. Uh, it's got five flags, um, it's got a beautiful uh, waterfall, which mm. is quite likely the most beautiful objective we've made in Battlefield so far. I think I went and captured that one when no one was looking, and I was yeah. like, this looks nice. Yeah, Everyone's nice. killing everyone over at the plane. I'll just hang out here by the this waterfall. waterfall. Yeah. No, it's, it's pretty. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very pretty. All right, uh, let's move on to Operation Mortar. Tell me um, some of the standout features of that map. Right, uh, Operation Mortar is abandoned resort meets medieval fort on top of a m big hill. It's okay. primarily designed for rush, but it works on carrier assault and, and conquest as well. Um, well I think yeah. I spawned on like a ruined castle or something. Exactly, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh, and of course, uh, it features uh, a unique stationary weapon that's unique not only to naval strike, but it's unique only to operation mortar. Uh, it's a pirate cannon that the level artist placed there, and early feedback was that Please, let me shoot the pirate cannon. <laughs> and so we made that happen. See, I saw the cannon, I was like, that's probably not a thing I can shoot. You can shoot it? You can shoot I it. I should have walked up and tried. Exactly, no, you can shoot it. It's a stationary weapon. It doesn't give you any other you know, optics or anything that the normal stationary weapons sure. do. It's, so it's not it's super effective, but it's It's, 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 it's basically fine. a cross. -out. Okay. But, but it does a lot of damage if you happen to catch the attack helicopter that spawns down by a smaller island nearby, you can just shoot it out of the air. Sure. You can also uh, brag a lot if you kill someone with that. Of course. Uh, yeah. I think it actually turned into an achievement. I think so. Okay, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the last one that I see on this list here is Nancha Strike. Nancha Strike. It, it's basically, well, it takes place set on the fictional island of Nancha Islands in, in the South China Sea. Mm -hmm. um, it features wind as, it, as the evolution. Uh, the wind kicks up. We're taking advantage of the fancy new uh, frostbite technology by having creating dynamic waves that you can sort of go up and down on and hide behind. Uh, it's, it's designed sort of as, as a celebration of the rib boat, which might seem odd, but usually uh, you have the PWC as the fast moving vehicles on water, mm. but you also have the attack boats, which are sort of the tanks that go on water. Uh, but the rib boat sort of has always been sort of, you know, tucked between the two. And so we wanted to make a map that sort of celebrates the, the mobility of the rib boat. So the, there's three middle islands that you can go in underneath uh, a couple of bridges with 
the rib button. It allows you to sort of sit between each capture point as you go. Okay. It, on, on Conquer Star, it's just got seven capture points, so we're really uh, making it big. Uh, so you can easily just, you know, use shortcuts to your advantage while the attack boat has to go around. So the seven, seven capture points, is that the largest map, or is it just really dense with points? Uh, it features the largest, um, I guess, set of water that we've ever made in Battlefield okay. 4. Uh, and uh, combine that with the wind that's kicking up. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's very nice if you want to you know, ride the waves on your attack boat and kill people out on islands. Uh, when can people play the Naval Strike DLC? So premium users can play it on March the 25th. OK, thanks so much for your time. No problem. And for more on everything Battlefield 4, keep it right here on IGN.com.